So let, let me back up a little bit because this story is kind of neat and kind of how this stuff got started. We, we, ult, we originally got into this uh, around 2010 and I was a new researcher starting at Florida State and we were looking around and I'm thinking, man, the, the, the people who are the most lean that I know eat late at night. But then we had this sort of contrasting view with um, different TV shows and things and weight loss shows where they're saying, st- cut off, stop eating at this time, stop eating at you know 7 p.m. or whatever it was. Um, and so that was the initial question, which is so great about my job is like we can see these things at, and try to answer these in real life. Um, and so we started our first trials looking at uh, just that. What if we gave whey, casein, um, uh, carbohydrate or like a water placebo and we would give people this. And it's important to define this the way we have done it. And the other people in this space is you're feeding this two hours after dinner. So it's not your dinner. Okay. It's two hours after dinner and within 30 minutes of going to sleep. Okay. Yeah. So it's a very specific time for this. And no additional carbohydrates or anything, just straight protein. In the original trials were either hundred percent whey, okay. 25 to 30 grams, a hundred percent casein, um, straight carbohydrate. So Sweet. we could calorie match yep. or a water placebo. Cool. Right. And so different groups have looked at this. We also measured things like satiety and appetite and from a scale, like, you know, how hungry do you feel? Um, and in all of that work the the conclusion that kept coming up was either there's no, no change at all, or you have a little bit of an increase in metabolism measured by resting metabolic rate. And we have a small uptick in satiation or, you know, satiety in the morning. But we were, we're wondering the whole time, is that good or bad? Yeah. If you're not hungry in the morning and you're not eating, is that is that a good thing for weight maintenance? Is that a bad thing? You know, what does that actually do? Um, and so along those uh, same times, we actually did a study in people that were overweight and we did a w- acute feeding. And, and no matter if it was whey, casein or carbohydrate, we saw a negative. And the negative to that was that they had a small uptick in glucose. Hmm. It's not doing anything to the body fat stores at that low calorie level. Uh, and so for us, that was kind of eye opening and it helps with some of the instructions we give to people because in general, people aren't eating towards that higher yeah. end of protein. And so we can say, this is a great time to feed to yeah. get your total daily protein intake up, which is probably the magic. It's, it's just getting the total daily protein intake to a level that we really want. Maybe not necessarily that it's right before bed, but you're usually home. You have access to food. Yeah, for sure. so it's an easy time to do it. It's not going to put on fat. It might uptick metabolism. Now the criticism again that we get even even now continues because there's still big questions in this space. Like we don't sleep is like the biggest yeah. thing right now that we're looking at. A lot of people kept um, reviewing our papers or commenting on things we were doing saying what about 